Hello, my name is Cinti, and welcome to a quick Stormworks modding tutorial where I'm going to try to quickly explain some of the basics of Stormworks modding really as fast as I can. So let's jump into it. Before we actually create our mod, though, we need to make the folder that all of our files will be housed in. So we're going to press Windows plus R here. This will bring up a little prompt. Type in percent app data percent. Go down to Stormworks, data, mods, right click, new folder, and this is where our mod is going to live. I'm just going to call it demo. And inside, we're just going to create a quick text document, rename it to mod.xml specifically. If it says XML source file, you did it right. Inside of our mod folder, you can also add mod.png if you want to upload this to the workshop. Then inside of here, we have a blank text document. And on the GeoMeta wiki, it gives us a template for the XML. And we'll just paste that in. Mod name, demo, username, well that's me. Empty fumball and a short description, a mod that shows things. Beautiful. Then inside of Stormworks, when we go to create a new game, in the enabled mod section, we'll see our demo mod, a mod to show people things. We don't actually have anything that we've modded yet, so let's go ahead and jump right into that. All right, so let's say we want to edit an existing part in the game. Say we want to make a spotlight shine brighter or a battery have more capacity. All right, so we can do all of that through modding and it's really easy. First, what we're going to want to do is we're going to create a folder in our mod folder called data. And inside of here, we're going to create another folder called definitions. Definitions, okay? And inside of here, we're going to create a couple of more files. But instead of creating them, let's just copy what the game has already given to us. So inside of Steam, we're going to right-click on Stormworks. We're going to go to Manage, Browse Local Files. And inside of here, we'll have a bunch of stuff. Mine's probably more complicated than yours. We're going to go to ROM, Data, Definitions. Does that sound familiar? And I want to edit a battery, so we'll just search up battery, right? I want to edit the medium battery. So I'm just going to right click, I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it into my mod definitions folder. Okay, simple as that. And then I'm going to open it up in my favorite text editor of choice. I'm using VS Code, but you could use Sublime Text or Notepad++ or really even Text Edit if you want. It doesn't matter so long as you can open it. And you're going to see a whole bunch of jargon here. Pretty much none of this matters if you just want to edit an existing part. What does matter though is here on line 2, there's just a ton of stuff here on this line. And we just need to change one of these values, right? So you can take a look through... And let's see, we're editing a battery, so we probably want something related to electricity, right? And sure enough, right here, electric charge capacity equals 12,800. This is the how many S watts the battery has. So if I just add a zero to the end of that, our battery has more power. Look at that. That's incredible. If I wanted to edit a spotlight, I'll just search up, searchlight.xml, copy, paste. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add M... Uh, SFB here in parentheses here. This is just good practice generally to label any parts you add or edit as modded. And then a three letter tag that's just like your author, right? I'm Senti Fumball, so I just put SFB. It makes it easy to search up modded parts as well. And it tells anyone using it, it's a modded part. So be sure to do this on every part, right? You can see there's a few more things in here, but again, we're just going to look for, you can see light range. I'm just going to add another zero to that, another z a couple of zeros to that, and then bam, I've made the light more powerful. It's, it's that simple. And of course, if I want to make a motor more powerful, I can just search up motor, motor small, paste that in, open it up. And in here, there isn't just a power value that we can edit. Instead, I'm pretty sure we have to edit a couple of these, right? So I'll just add a zero there and we'll hope it works. And now that we're all done in that, we can just load our game, right? We can go to create a new world. I'll just set it to O'Neill, disable all add-ons so the game runs a little faster, and enable our demo mod. All right? And that's it. it. It's that simple. All right, we'll just spawn into the world here. And I'll go to the editor. And just platform here. Battery. Electric battery medium. So the important thing to note here is that the game did recognize that we edited the battery, and we can now see that it has our mod name tagged underneath it. Demo, right? Other batteries don't have that tag, but ours do, so we successfully edited it. So if I just place the spotlight down, again, it can see edit right there, uh, demo. And we can also see that it has a range of 12,000. And since we also edited the motor to have a significantly more force, 
I'll hook everything up with just regular logic and electricity. Spawn it in. And hopefully it should all work. Well. Motor seems to work. Don't think we've changed this RPS, but it should be uh, significantly more powerful. It just kills me instantly. Nice. And the spotlight. Well, that seems more powerful. Opening the doors to make sure. And uh, yeah, that, that seems to be... It seems to be uh, shining much, much further. I'd love to have a spotlight like this on my boat. So there you go. Basic part editing in Stormworks. It really is as simple as changing a couple of values. If you want your own mesh, that becomes a little more complicated, but there is a tutorial for that as well. If you liked what you saw here, uh, I'd appreciate a comment, like, and uh, subscribe. If you want a tutorial that I haven't done yet, please leave it in the uh, comments, and I'll try to get to it when I can. And uh, I think that's all for me. Happy modding!